Welcome back to Broomchers. I got my boyfriend Rick with me and we got Bottle Logic's Birds of Paradise. Mary, we really enjoyed Return to Saturn. Mm -hmm. Birds of Paradise has potential to be better. And that is surprising because we both gave the other one fives. Birds of Paradise is a fruit sour ale aged in rum barrels, steeped with grapefruit and orange peel, then finished with pineapple and lime. I love all of those things except, except grapefruit. grapefruit. <laughs> we reviewed uh, the Greyhound, which is a grapefruit mm -hmm. IPA, and you, yeah, did not like that one. This is 14% alcohol, so 2% higher than the Return to Saturn. Love the art on here. A lot of Eve unsure what's going on with these tropical birds. I love birds. I also love birds. I love birds. There's no owls on here, but there's a toucan, a parakeet, some macaws, uh, that crazy looking one. I don't think it's a cockatiel, but it's uh, one of those crazy parrots that goes. <laughs> I love all the colorful birds. I love I love birds, any kind of bird, but the I artwork love is the great. colorful birds. I love the green leaves. I love green. Eve is always a badass. I love her. And like the other one, like the other bottle, this lightning. has the lightning with the with the label. I like green, so this this bottle is mostly green. It reminds me of the Rainforest Cafe in a yeah. non ironic way. I would if if I didn't even look at what this was, I would be drawn to this bottle because 100%. green uh, birds, hot chick, why not? You know? There's a lot going on, and it really does draw the eye. Yeah. And I mean, if you have anything like jungle themed, or you know, I don't know, I don't even know, but this is a good looking bottle. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, bottle Logic knocking it out of the park with these lightning bolts. Oh! Oh my gosh! Cheeky's here! I found a cheeky. They put green cheek cheeky in here. Look at. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I gotta go to the camera on this one. Look at that guy. You See scared him? me! Look at him. Let me get the camera to focus. <laughs> Cheeky's hiding out. We love Green Cheek. We love Bottle Logic. Oh. I love Cheeky. He's my favorite uh, mascot of the breweries around us. I'm glad they got him in here. What the heck? That's so That's cool. cool. I never That's would have noticed him being back cool. there. Um, I love that. Yeah. Well, we're already gushing over this beer. But let's stop talking about it and get to drinking about it. All right, we're gonna open up this bottle. And first, let's address the situation we found. I got all excited, we saw a cheeky in the background, thought it was an Easter egg. If we looked closer at the bottle, we would say this is a Green Cheek beer collaboration with Bottle Logic. So that's super exciting for us. We love Green Cheek, we love Bottle Logic, as I said before. Um, makes sense why Cheeky is in there now. Yeah, and I'm sure you all saw the spinning, and uh, we just looked uh, like fools up here. <laughs> oh no. That was great. That was great. Good times. We've had a few beers today. Not yeah, not our first beer of the evening. But, let's add to it. And I'm gonna be honest with you right now, we gotta get our little tulip taster glasses. All right, we got our taster glasses. We have our ice glasses. So let's pour some beer. Oh! Now there's a pink beer. Orange, orange beer. Wow. I like that color. That means I'm gonna like this beer. Is that how that works? Yeah. If the color is anything other than yellow, I'm gonna like it. Green? Hell yeah. Orange? Hell yeah. Purple, hell yeah. Okay. Oh, this smells very tropical. And it should. Both Getting of a lot of a lot of orange, to be honest. Yeah, same. I think more so on the ice. No. Well. No ice. I'm getting a little bit of that grapefruit. Then some orange, and then maybe like a pineapple lime mix, like a like a tropical drink mix, like you were talking about. 
The this, neat, I'm getting alcohol again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. Like neat smells alcohol. That's yeah. it. That's all I can smell. Like now neat, sweet. I will say it smells alcohol, but it does remind me of rum drinks that I've had in the past. And this is rum barrel age. Yeah, like a sweet island yeah you know like a, but it's like a rum a tiki co cocktail yeah it's a definitely a cocktail and with but all this, the birds we are in the tiki 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 room where the birds sing and the flowers bloom i'm gonna go over here and smell this and don't come over here and <laughs> this uh this is fun this is it smells great yeah this I don't know, maybe I'm losing it because of the ice, but... I get more of the orange and grapefruit up front here. This, uh, a lot of alcohol, alcohol here. Yeah, much more alcohol here. Um, still tropical overall, I would yeah. say. Maybe a little bit of that pineapple comes through here. Like a rum pineapple here, for sure. They both smell really tropical-y, if that's a word, and yeah. amazing. Which one do you want to taste first? Let's save the best for last. In your opinion. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Much more alcohol here. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of scared to try that now. Much more rum flavor here. Definitely getting orange. And then it fades and I get pineapple. A little bit of that lime coming through, like a, um, like a lime sorbet. Or like a, 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 a lime in rainbow sherbet almost flavor. I agree I'm getting a lot more alcohol than mm -hmm. um, the last beer that we tasted on, on ice. ice. Not in a bad way. This is supposed to be a cocktail inspired <laughs> drink. Um, it definitely lends itself nicely. Um, something that should be sipped, I would say. Um, especially at 14%. So you expect there to be a little alcohol bite. This has it. It definitely yeah. feels like a cocktail drink. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of the alcohol at the beginning and then it turns into, like you said, pineapple and orange. I don't get a lot of lime. For me, it, a, it reminds me of like a lime sorbet or a, 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 a rainbow sherbet flavor. And I had a lot of rainbow sherbet in my day. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting lime. I, I agree. Uh, we know Neat usually is going to bring out more alcohol, so let's see if that's okay, true. Here we go. Whew. It's there. I get more orange and then that pineapple here. Ironically enough, grapefruit is not being a big player here. I think that, okay, I'm not a big grapefruit eater. Correct. Because I don't like grapefruit. And I've had it before in my life, and I was thinking, okay, I'm getting a lot of orange, but it's a different kind of orange taste. And I think that's The grapefruit, grapefruit. coming up for you? And I think that I'm getting a lot of grapefruit, and I don't mind it. I don't... It's mixing really well with yeah. these flavors. This is another great beer. Yeah. Oh my God, I love this. I love this. I definitely prefer this neat also. Yeah, comparing to the other one, to me, this one is very comparable neat to ice. Yeah, yeah. More. I would say that, and maybe yeah. it's because of the alcohol um, coming through, that rum barrel age coming through. The rum is really nice here. Rum always plays well with your tropical cocktails and stuff. Um, and I think I prefer rum barrel aged things in general, mm -hmm. it seems like. Yeah, the this is very alcoholic, But yeah. it, it's, I don't, like, I mean, I like the alcohol taste. I know that you're not super keen on it, but it's good. It, it's, it's good here, I, I agree, it's good here. Especially yeah. knowing it's supposed to be a cocktail influence beer i really enjoy it i like it five if i can give this a six i can give it a i would give it a six um i would say hmm, i'm gonna i think i'm up this a little longer no you don't need to let it warm up it's on ice he's gonna give it a six also sixes out of fives all around i'm gonna give this a 4.75 
It's good. It's <sighs> super good. Oh, no. Don't get me wrong. Oh, no. The it has the alcohol bite though, and I'm not a super big fan of that. It's a cocktail. Fine, a five. Yes. <laughs> It's supposed to be a cocktail. It's good. Yeah, it's supposed to be a cocktail. And I I do really, 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 really like this. If I had to pick a favorite of the two, probably Return to Saturn. Ooh, a little no. bit more for me, but I love birds. So we're right there. I think we're both going to have to go back for more bottles of both of these. Absolutely, 100%. Um, so if you can, uh, after we go get more, go ahead and pick up some of this yourself. Um, try it out. This is Birds of Paradise, Bottle Logic Brewing. And Green Cheek, as we found out. Cheeky's on the bottle. I love that. <laughs> I love little stuff like that. Great collaboration uh, from two of our favorite breweries. Mm -hmm. And that does it for our part two of the Lightning in the Bottle beer review. Green Cheek and Bottle Logic collaboration. Keep doing them, please. Yeah, we'd love to see more of this style. Like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe, check us out on Instagram, and until next time, we're the Brewmatures, trying every beer from around the world. One, One sip, sip at, at a time. time.